So today we're taking a look at two G Wolves mice and quite frankly guys, these small mice are actually surprisingly good even though I'm not the largest fan of small mice myself. This is the HTX 4K. This is a Viper Mini wireless clone and more or less it runs at 4000 Hertz polling rate, super lightweight design, also very nice clicky tactile buttons high quality build, and I'm really impressed that G-Wolves was able to do so and actually have these bad boys in stock. It does feel very nice to use. We'll move on to the HSK Pro 4K later on in the video as well. As you guys can see, this is a super small fingertip only mouse that actually has side buttons, which they aren't horribly usable for me anyways, because at least trying to like aim and then use the side buttons at the same time is not really feasible. So these are gonna be definitely more so for desktop use, but we'll get into that in a little bit here. Since we are all very familiar with the Viper Mini Shave, we're going to talk about the HTX 4K first. And let's go ahead and review the build quality real quick. So just give it a quick squeeze. Okay, very good. All right, really hardly any flexing or creaking at all that I could hear myself. But what I did notice is these mouse clicks. They are really nice. Let's do a quick sound test so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, and on the button, we can see that we have these dot PTFE mouse gates. They do perform very well. Also, I did not have any issues using these dot mouse gates on and off switch right there. One little RGB light. With both mice, you're gonna get these little puck receivers. And then depending on which mouse you're using, you will have to either use the charging cable specifically for the HTX, because this mouse does have USB type C. Uh, the HSK Pro, on the other hand, has, oh, micro usb and i have no idea why i even told you i was like look why would you send me this with micro usb because initially i had planned on not taking a look at any mice in 2023 with micro usb but they sent it without asking and i mean the samples are cool don't get me wrong but had i known had i known i just might have rejected the review unit but i guess it's that didn't give me a chance. Anyways, I digress. I guess you can just, you know, unplug your dongle and plug in the micro USB cable from the receiver because both of them do use micro USB for their receivers. Neither of the receivers use USB type C, which eh, I mean, I don't really care for the receiver because it's supposed to just be plugged in and left alone. But for charging my mouse, I would rather just be able to grab my keyboard cable and charge my gaming mouse. Going over the HSK Pro next, also featuring that 4,000 Hertz polling rate, super small, game gaming mouse designed for fingertip only, especially compared to the HTX, which I would also say is a pretty fingertip only geared mouse because the Viper Mini shape with my big hands is pretty much gonna be a fingertip only mouse. There's no way I'm gonna be able to feasibly claw this thing comfortably for long periods of time. So I have to kind of move over to the fingertip grip to use this thing for long periods of time. Well, this one, you really don't even have a choice. It's very similar in terms of the grip width to this mouse, but it's slightly wider where I actually grip the mouse because again, my hands are so big. So upside down, my grip actually looks like this on the HSK Pro 4K, more or less. Uh, I can use it and my accuracy is actually pretty good using the HSK Pro, but, but, but. I cannot use this mouse for very long periods of time. Like if I had, you know, smaller hands, I think that I probably could make this work and it makes me almost want a wider one. Like it feels a little bit wider, maybe even at the front, like instead of being kind of narrow at the front, if it was just a little bit more squared off and I had a little bit more room to move my ring finger over just a little bit to support more long-term comfort. I think that I could actually make this work. And with the way that I was playing with it in game, I would not be against trying that out long term and as some of you guys might know if you came over from rocket jump ninja's channel if you watched him recently i will leave a link to that video in the description but basically we have been doing this challenge where i use pretty small mice for about 
three weeks and then I compare the results. So I've pretty much been using the Extrify M42 wireless for the most part of that challenge. But obviously that lasted about two and a half, three weeks. And then I started getting a lot more mice review units and I have to get back to work on reviewing these mice. So we're switching it up a little bit using these G-Wolves mice. And quite frankly, guys, like, I fully understand like what he's saying now when you use a smaller mice and then you start to realize you know what your actual accuracy potential is because this I feel like my accuracy was truly unleashed in a sense but my hand definitely hurt so I mean you know without you know making a custom mouse for me I kind of wish that this mouse was a bit wider and uh, I think that that would work out a lot better for myself as well as other people with larger hands using this fingertip only style of mouse. Quick sound test with the HSK Pro as well. No issues with the PTFE feet on this mouse either. Quite frankly, guys, do you even care about talking about mouse feet? Because nowadays, unless they're really bad, like it's almost not even notable to mention yeah. these days, in my opinion. Uh, you got your keyboard brush or mouse brush that you can use, typical G Wolf stuff. Let's see here, got some more skates and whatnot in there. You got some nice mouse grips and of course you know these could actually help out in terms of like adding more places to grip on the mouse but i don't really like rubberized grips on my mouse personally so i opted not to use these even though the g wolves grips are typically pretty good and i have kind of liked them in the past i just don't like having like feeling plastic and then feeling rubber on the same thing it just I don't know, the texture really messes with me. It's like people that don't like avocado. I do like avocado myself, but me using these, it's just not gonna happen. They're just a little bit too sticky for me. But maybe you like sticky, I'm not saying that you don't. And then of course, G Wolves decided to throw this in. This is actually a battery tester, so you can toss the battery into the mouse. And I, we all know that, you know, the HSK uh, had like, you know, the whole fire issue and whatnot. So this is just like a little safety thing so you can, you know, test out the battery for as long as you feel comfortable and making sure that you won't have any issues with power drop from the battery and all that stuff. So nice that they included this with an extra battery as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on both the HTX as well as the HSK. Both of them are great mice. If you are looking for a Razer Viper Mini Ultimate or Razer Viper Mini Wireless, it's gonna be a little bit pricey because these mice are like nearly $200 at about 170, 180 bucks. So the HTX could do it for you if you are looking for that Razer Viper Ultimate shape without the Razer Viper Ultimate price and availability issues at that that we're currently experiencing. And as far as the HSK Pro is concerned, if you are a massive fingertip grip fan, this actually might be a really good solution to give a try to see if this actually improves your aim quite a bit. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Appreciate your support on the recent videos as well, guys. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.